We're going to do a dumbbell row. I'm assuming most of you that are watching this video have done a dumbbell row. I want to show you how I do them. It's a little different. So I wanted to find a version that was easier on my lower back. So what I did was I straddle the bench and what I do is I move over this way. So I got a nice base here with my hips. My back is supported. I got my arm here to support me. So I'm going to do a row this way. Now, once I did this a few times, I was super impressed with how good this feels. Very little lower back stress. I normally was only going up to maybe a hundreds on these because my lower back would lock up on me. The first time I did them with this form, I went up to the 150s, knocked out a set of eight, which are the heaviest dumbbells here. And I had no back pain. These are really nice for those of you who have maybe some lower back issues, but they're also just a nice version in general. A couple things with your form. So shift over to the side you're doing. Now drop the foot back. If you've got your foot up here, it's going to be real awkward pulling a dumbbell up. So what I want is I want that foot to come back here. You'll see a lot of people doing uh, what I call the lawnmower form like this. I don't want you twisting. Keep your shoulders square. Drive with your elbow. See that? I'm driving with my elbow. And that's really one of the biggest keys to training your lats is driving with your elbows. Don't even think about your grip. Don't think about your biceps. Just move your elbow and squeeze your lats. Learn to generate tension by moving your elbows and squeezing your lats. There's another little tweak that I do on these sometimes that short, sort of shifts the tension to the bottom of the lat. Now I know people say, oh, you can't train your lower lat. Well, no, you can't isolate it. It's not an individual muscle. You can use your form to bias certain areas of your muscle groups. It's been documented a million times. Here's what I want you to do. This is really cool. I want you to row up, put the dumbbell on your leg. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to push the dumbbell back through your leg. Pause and back. What I'm doing when I'm right here is I'm trying to go back this way. Now you obviously can't do that, but you'll feel your lower lack, boom, it'll lock up and all the tension will shift right there. Now, you don't need to come up real high. Just come up to right here on your leg and flex. That's not something you learn in textbooks. So I do this with a lot of people who can't really feel that area of their lats work and it works every time. 